Hey, I'm Tom. I'm from the Netherlands, and at Nagoya University, I work on galaxies that are really far away. In my postdoctoral position, I use telescopes that are on the ground and telescopes that are in space. So in astronomy, I look at the furthest away galaxies, and I try to see them using big telescopes on Earth and in space. Because the speed of light is finite, we're able to look back in time to a time when the universe was much smaller and galaxies were much younger. We start typically by looking at optical images, so same color as that we can see with our eyes, or maybe slightly more red than that, using telescopes such as the Hubble telescope in space, and hopefully soon the James Webb telescope. They're able to pick out really faint, distant galaxies. But if we truly want to understand how these galaxies evolve and what the gas inside them is doing, we have to move to radio colors and far infrared colors. At Nagoya University, we've discovered that a lot of these galaxies are obscured by dust. Using millimeter wavelength telescopes, we can look straight through these dust clouds and get a complete picture of galaxy evolution in the early universe. With the James Webb Space Telescope coming online later this year, we'll be able to find even further away galaxies. And I'm proud to be at Nagoya University to unravel the mysteries of the universe. My most memorable experience of being in Japan has been visiting a sake brewery. I'd met the owners in a nice diner in London and they had invited me. So when I started my postdoctoral position, it was the perfect opportunity to go visit. I went to Yamagata-ken in this remote village where they had this beautiful building where they brew the sake. They had this entire room dedicated to the making of koji, which is a special ingredient that goes into sake, unlike any other drink I'd seen before. At the end of the visit, they handed me a bottle of namazake, fresh, unpasteurized sake. And it's truly one of the best drinks I've ever had. Initially, I thought I'd missed Hanami and Nagoya, but because Yamagata-ken is much more northern, Hanami was still ongoing there. So we went to the park, drank this bottle of most delicious drink with these beautiful flowers around me, with the fresh memory of meeting really new friends. Truly one of the best experiences I've had in Japan so far.